Hello Taurus, welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you at this time? For Taurus, Spirits, Angels, Guide, Messages, Guidance for Taurus regarding love. Some of you are moving and it's it's happening very quickly. It's a, it's a quick move. That's not for all of you, but some of you are definitely either you're thinking about moving or you're moving. Okay, tell me um, what is coming their way for Taurus in love. Never ending story, number 37. This is a story you tell yourself, um, criticism, being critical of your own um, actions, your past mistakes. And it's, it's, a, it's almost like a story that continuously just, it's, it's like a cycle. You, you always, it's like you're beating yourself up with the same old, same old. That's kind of never ending story in the message there. Um, message in a bottle. I feel like something's come, come in um, that interrupts this. That's what I heard, interrupt. So it's like you're sitting there and you're feeling sorry for yourself and feeling like you may get another mistake and then a message comes in. Never ending story could also be that you're dealing with a particular person where it's always the same old, same old. Let me get some insight for Taurus. What's coming their way in love? But I'm getting more like you're beating yourself up here. I'm not sure why. Okay, we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, calling in your soulmate, and it is safe for you to love. Okay, so you're manifesting love, manifesting a soulmate. And bottom of the deck, I have free yourself. Hmm. It is safe for you to love. What else for Taurus? Taurus, I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading. What can Taurus expect in love? Wow, I got three. Love letter, a special message is on its way. Hidden motives and sudden realization. Yeah, again, there's like a message coming in that helps you realize something. This could be information that you research. This could be a spiritual message. This could even be um, that you meet someone new and they make you question like where you've been at this whole time. Guidance messages, please. For Taurus, regarding love and relationships, what is coming Taurus's way? Oops. Hold on. I don't need to do that again. Sorry, that does not feel right. <laughs> For Taurus. Okay. Six of Wands reverse, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles reverse, Six of Pentacles reverse, Four of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, things are not doing, like, they're just not going well. Eight of Swords reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this is breaking free of a mental prison. This is seeing a way out of your situation. Some of you, this is a situation where you feel like you invested in the wrong place or the wrong person. Maybe you feel like you took a really long time to make a mistake. And it hasn't been successful. I feel like it hasn't been fair to you or balanced with the Six of Pe Pentacles reverse. And then the Four of Cups tells me you're checked out. You're no longer interested. If this isn't you, this could be the person that you're connecting with or dealing with at this time. 
but the four of wands reverse six of pentacles reverse six of wands reverse you know this is things not right at home things not right at work this is feeling like your life is upside down like nothing works out for you there's not a lot of stability or security um and and it feels like you're you failed i feel a lot of you feel like you failed and that's why you're being so hard at your um on yourself here with never ending story get some clarity please clarity guidance please some of you have not been treated well or you possibly have been messed um, messed around with or messed with uh, with hidden motives, like there's probably some sort of deception that you've realized now, or some sort of secret or a hidden motive that someone had that you you realize now what that's all about. I don't know what's going on with my decks right now. Okay, so let's let's find out. First of all, I'm curious about this King of Cups. Who's this King of Cups? What's this King of Cups about? They tend to be very um, nurturing, loving, caring people. Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio energy. Can we get some insight, please, on this King of Cups? What do we need to know about this King of Cups? Queen of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. So... Something is off about this. Why? Oh. Because <laughs> of the tower at the bottom of the deck. And Libra energy with justice. And then the eight of swords again. Yeah. Something was no Something's off here. But I'm trying to figure out what this is. Let me see if I can get one more. Can I get one more for the king of cups? What do we need to know about this king of cups? Two of Cups in. I don't know why, but I don't... The Tower and now Death and Lovers. I feel like this is someone who you might be, this could be the way you feel towards someone or this is someone you're in a connection with. And it's like there's a back and forth happening here, um, emotionally. Yep. <laughs> Look at these energies. Two of Wands, Eight of Cups. It's like some, It's like you go back and forth about staying, leaving, or dealing with a certain person in a, in a certain way. You could be married to this person. There's, this could be a long-term commitment. Some of you are thinking about long-term success and stability. And you maybe are thinking a lot about what, what, what it will take for you to have that. Some of you are going to have to walk away. Choose a different path here. I don't believe in coincidences. So the fact that these cards are coming out. Okay, let's keep clarifying. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, this has been a burden for you. I feel like you're emotionally checked out and worn out. I think you're no longer interested in this because it hasn't grown, it hasn't manifested, it hasn't been balanced. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles reversed. And this could be despite the fact that you have feelings for this person. You might still have feelings for this person, but I think a lot of you are checked out. Having feelings for this person doesn't change the fact that something's not even balanced or stable here. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Four of Swords. Complete opposite energies here. It's almost like someone's willing to go after something, willing to take action, willing to be bold towards something. And then the other person's like, nah, I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> 
you know and i feel like there's this there's the back and forth maybe you and this person just don't gel well together maybe you both have different goals for your futures um maybe one of you is passionate about something and the other one isn't or it's just not one of you is willing to take risks take action um be passionate and the other one isn't tell me about this four of wands reverse that's a lot yeah same energy knight of pentacles seven of pentacles two of wands and the lovers i feel like a lot of you are wondering if this is it for you in terms of love um what else is out there for you in love are there other opportunities out there for you in terms of partnerships i also think a lot of you are thinking about money career where you want to be in the future yeah you're worried trying to figure out what to do here nine of swords seven of cups and then there's judgment the sudden realization you will be figuring this out i feel like some of you are kind of getting there you're not quite there yet but but you're gonna figure it out it's gonna come to you this could also be a personal awakening you know a message a spiritual message that comes in that helps you so let's see who are you dealing with here what do we need to know about the person that you might be dealing with here what do we need to know about this other person for taurus what do we need to know what do we need to know about this other person person that Taurus is, has, or might be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Five of Wands. What do we need to know about this other person? The Moon, Pisces energy. Well, there's the secrets, hidden um, illusions, and conflict. I feel like what's not said causes problems or there's illusions here that are just now rising to the surface and causing conflict and drama. There could be multiple people here um, involved. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Moon. Why is the Five of Wands here with the Moon? Seven of Wands. Oh yeah, this is definitely like fights. Someone's like protecting themselves, standing firm. Tell me about the Five of Wands and the Moon. King of Swords. Oh, it fell on the floor. Hold on. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Bottom of the deck, the Tower again. So the King of Swords for me is very similar to the Sudden Realization card. This is clarity, truth, information. Tell me about the King of Swords. What do we need to know about the King of Swords? Okay. Six of Wands. King of Pentacles. The Tower again. <laughs> so I feel like this is this is you. Or this could be just what happens, um, you know, someone reveals something or through communication, uh, some so something is brought to light. I think what's going on, the Hermit Virgo energy. Okay, this is what I'm getting. It's going to sound a little bit crazy, but bear with me. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know why I get the messages that I get. I'm just going to tell you what I... And picking up on here I think you're realizing that something's not working out in your life it could be a particular connection it could be the way things are at home it could be the way you approach love the way you approach relationships the way that you approach life fill in the blank um, whatever you're realizing about that is going to drive you to I feel cause a tower um, I feel like you're going to fight back or stand firm against what's not working. 
I think this is going to cause problems for someone else. It'll be difficult for someone else or someone else will feel the need to bring things to your attention, cause drama, cause conflict, fight back. However, I think at the end of the day, you know that you'll be better off making this decision, no matter who it affects. And it's not going to be easy. And um, Aquarius had a very similar energy, totally different cards, but a similar theme. And this is a theme that's happening just astro astrologically with, with a lot of signs. There's a lot of doors that we're closing ourselves. There's a lot of uh, tower moments that are happening that are shifting our perspectives. Yeah, you're, you're going to basically find stability for yourself. And maybe that will be uncomfortable for someone else or, or difficult for someone else to accept, Taurus. However, this is what you are willing to do at this point because I think you've just, this sudden realization is just something that you cannot not know, if that makes sense. You know, what, what, what has been realized cannot be unrealized. And that's what's happening here. If this isn't you, this is your person, you know, feel free to flip this energy if it resonates more for you. But I feel like I'm talking to a lot of Tauruses right now. And just by looking at, you know, some previous readings, your 2022 outlook reading, for example, um, the you and them love reading was all about new beginnings and being blocked from a new beginning, perhaps. And, you know, in December 2021, you kind of knew that something was over for you. This is just a continuation of those energies. And I think a lot of you are going to be calling in a soulmate when you are in this new cycle. Um, let's see what else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this other person? I need to know about this other person. That Taurus. I think there's going to be um, arguments with this other person. False person. Well, that's not fun. What else do we need to know about this other person? This person could have been keeping something from you, hiding something from you, or it's just wearing a mask. They're not who they say they are. Or when it comes to this problem that now is at the forefront of everything, the fact that you are making someone else uncomfortable or you are disrupting someone else's life in some way is causing them to be this way. What else? What else? The elk. The elk is kind of like... Oh, and then we have the moth. I think someone's pretending to be an elk. Elk is kind of a king of pentacles energy. Um, or this is how they want to address this problem. By being very steady, grounded, uh, mature, you know, financially savvy. Um, but I feel like this person, the moth, is a card about kind of being drawn to the grass is greener on the other side. Let me look at what else impulsive hasty energy uh, we're attracted to easy solutions anything shiny and new typically leads to disappointment no matter the illusion no one's exempt from trials and tribulations so i think that this person perhaps they're thinking that they'll be able to handle this they'll be able to handle you basically and that might not be the the case uh, because maybe in the past you haven't stuck to your guns. Maybe in the past you haven't, you know, followed through on any threads or any, you know, things that you've said about being done or, you know, being sad or being, you know, you're not happy. Maybe someone in the past was able to convince you to, you know, not make any drastic decisions or change anything. But I don't think that that's happening now. Where is all this headed? Where is all this headed for Taurus in the near future? What do we need to know? Where is all this headed 
in the near future. For Taurus. Five of Cups, reverse. The Emperor, reverse. Queen of Wands, reverse. Page of, ooh. Four of Swords, reverse, and the Sun. Bottom of the deck, Temperance, again. So I feel like things will resolve themselves. However, there will be some difficulties here. I think there's going to be somebody that's going to try to, to make you stay or make it difficult for you to leave, make it difficult for you to have this sun temperance energy. And I feel like they want to do this because they're hoping to change your mind. Like they, they're hoping that once they talk to you, um, they're hoping to change your mind about leaving or change your mind about making this decision because maybe it's a very final decision. I feel like a lot of you are going to feel powerless, but eventually you will take action for Swords Reverse. Um, you will recognize, you know, the lies for what they are or the intentions of someone. Um, as always, what else was I going to say? Thank you so much for watching, Taurus. Uh, I feel like my mind is going a mile a minute because I think a lot of you have a lot in your in your brains right now. Ever since I started the reading, I felt like I was like really, really jittery and energetic. And a lot of you are planning to move. Um, and this is making sense. I feel like a lot of you can sense that there's challenges coming your way regarding this decision. And it's like you're trying to think ahead. You know, you're trying to stay ahead of the, of the, of the game. All right. So anyways, let me just cut that off here. Otherwise, I'll keep talking. Hit the like button and subscribe. If you enjoyed this reading, I want to see other readings from me. And I'll see you all in another reading very soon. Take care, Taurus.